everybody welcome back to the YouTube channel this your boy Gus with my life my journey where I show you what my life be like Yay! so today um, we're doing a Q&A um, I got some questions from my social media I asked them to send me in some questions so they sent me the questions so now I'm gonna get into it okay so the first question is How's your mental health? Um, I would say my mental health is it's going. Um, I'm starting to figure out the things about life, um, my upbringing. Um, I'm starting to learn more about God um, and the positivities of life. Um, Knowing about family, uh, friends, um, the ways of this world. Um, so I would say it's going, it's, it's going okay for the most part. <laughs> so I'm going to just leave that right there. So now we're on to the second question. What are some of your 2024 resolutions? Um, my 2024 resolutions are for one is to um, better my businesses um, to better my podcast to do more of God's work and just to stay focused be a better believer in Christ just be successful and be blessed for the third question, what made you start your YouTube channel? What made me start my YouTube channel um, was helping others, um, being able to allow myself um, to jump out there and do something that I never did before. Also, um, try different foods, go different places, um, reach out, you know, to other people around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're on to the fourth question. Name two of your pet peeves. Two of my pet peeves are, one of them is I dislike being unheard. Um, it be times to where um, I allow God to work through me and say different things. And, you know, sometimes when you help people, um, the positive things they don't want to hear. So, you know, at times I have to not get upset and you know, not fault myself um, because of the things that others do. So, you know, that's one of the reasons uh, that makes me unhappy. Um, another one of my pet peeves are um, not having enough. Um, you know, as hard as I work, um, as hard as I try to make others' life easier, sometimes it just it just gets me upset. Um, and I have to pray about it, and I have to just um kind of rely on myself and say, "Gus, listen, pump your brakes, slow down." You have to do what you have to do for yourself in order to help others. So don't get upset. Don't get mad. You know, or don't dislike it because you're in a Caesar right now. You know, so. Yeah, those are my two. We're on the fifth question. Name a person that had or has made an impact in your life. 
Um, I would say um, my mom, um, Joanne Rucker, she has made a big impact in my life. Um, not just that, you know, with God's help, she brought me in this world. But also, she helps me to be stronger in life. And even though she passed away when I was about eight years old, seven or eight, um, she's been there for me spiritually, mentally, um, and she's my motivation. You know, she's the reason I keep, you know, moving forward. Um, also, I want to say my grandmother, Florine Everson. Um, she's been a big, big, big impact in my life um, when my mother passed away. Um, she's been a, a, a big impact in my life and I love both of them dearly um, also I know I say one person but you know I got quite a few <laughs> um, also uh, my friends and family they've been a big impact in my life whether it was um, things that I didn't understand in life or maybe I felt like I got mistreated or um, put in different situations. They have been a big impact in my life. I also, um, God has also been a big impact in my life. You know, that's really first and foremost. Um, he's been awesome. He's never left me nor forsake me. And I just stay focused. And those are the ones um, that been there for me. Also, my stepmom, Doretha, um, I appreciate you. She stepped in when my mom, you know, passed away and was there for me um, as a mother figure. She also was one of the ones that, you know, stuck with me. Um always gave me faith, always gave me courage to do different things. And I appreciate that for sure. Time for a small commercial break. Hey, Jim. Morning, Sammy. Jim, not that I don't appreciate the ride, but this car is filthy. Soda cans on the floor, your ashtray is candy wrappers. And is that a half eaten grilled cheese sandwich in the back? I just don't have time to clean my car. Well, I have time to call Stokes Car Wash and Mobile Detailing. They'll come right to the office and detail this car to the fine tune of excellence. Cleaning your car can be a chore. Let the fine folks at Stokes Car Wash and Mobile Detailing make your car look brand new again. Call 863-844-1653 to schedule your car's makeover today. That's real now. Or maybe the sixth one, but... What is the word of the day with Gus? Basically, the word of the day with Gus, um, it is broken down into different things. Um, it's a giveaway. Also, it's a way for me to help others. Um, also, it's inspirational. It's encouraging. Um, it's just a way to... Um, open your mind um do things that open up your mind um also if you i feel like if you encourage yourself inspire yourself then you become you know a certain type of person um every day if you uh read an inspiring word or an encouraging word to me, I believe that it will um, transform your mind. Um, and also, um, 
if you always on social media every day all the time it's a way to you know engage um you know with others with me um and it's a challenge you know what i'm saying and then you know through the challenge you also get a prize um so that's that's a blessing you know it's not it's not a big uh it's not a big prize but you know it's something for those people that need help with gas um that need help with uh food um and different things hygiene stuff um you know the list goes on but it's a way to give back um to people that don't have yes the seventh question is what is your dream job um, my dream job is to just help others and for them to see the quality not the quantity and things that you do um it don't to me it don't matter um how many jobs that you have but how are you in those jobs that you do have you know what i'm saying um i feel like quality is everything um but I like working with people. My dream job is to work with others, um, work with people in any way. Um, as y'all know, I have a, a detailing business, Stokes Detailing. Um, you can look me up on any social media platform. Also, uh, Stokes Valet Company. You can also look that up on any social media platform. Um, Stokes Senior Services. Also, that's on any uh, social media platform. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of things uh, that I have in motion. Um, and it's a blessing to be able to help others, um, you know, through my life. Um, and I was always taught that it's better to give than to receive. Um, because when you give, your blessings are going to automatically come. So that would be my dream job is just to help others. Now we're on to the eighth question. What is something you can't live without? Um, something I can't live without, I would say I can't live without my heavenly father. Um, and the reason why I say that is because through everything you know he has showed me he's you know showed up and showed out every time I needed him um so you know that's something that I can't live without you know I have to pray every day I know he's with me every day um I know that he's right there on the side of me day by day every day so you know every anything else pretty much I can live without but the the, the spirit man it's just something about the spirit of the Lord you know you just can't shake it and if you don't have it I don't see you know how you can live without it cause once you have it you can't shake it you can't shake it. It's amazing, man. It's, it's a better feeling than anything. Um, so, you know, I encourage y'all out there to, you know, if you don't know them, to give them a try, man. Just try them out. Just try them out. And that's something that I can't live without. Okay, now we're on to the ninth question. Um, name three close friends. Three closest friends to me. Um, I would say one of them is uh, one of my close friends, Darius Walker. 
Um, he been there for me growing up. Um, we got a brother bond um, that nobody can't shake. We may not talk every day um, or see each other every day, but you know, every time that we link up or talk to each other, um, it seemed like you know we never we never left. You know what I'm saying from each other's side, man, and that's a blessing. And yeah, that's a blessing, man. I love him to death, man. Big shots out to my boy. Um, also, another one is um, Corey Outlaw. Um, man, I I appreciate you so much, man. You very inspirational, man. Inspiring, and you know I've been knowing him for a long time. That was my cousin. Well, that is my cousin' best friend. Um, he's also a friend of the family. Um, but he's more than a friend. Uh, to me, he's like a brother. Um, and it's the same thing with with him. You know, we may not talk every day or see each other every day, but you know, he's he's a blessing, man. And and it's so awesome, man. It's it's amazing, man, to have people like that you know, in your circle to, you know, when you feel in some type of way or you feel like, you know, you have nobody or whatever, like these are the people that you can call and talk to and they'll uplift you and encourage you. Um, not just of the right things, but, you know, them them would be the ones that be like, listen, man, you, the way you're going about things is not really right. You know, what, what can I do to change the situation, you know, for you to be the Gus that we know? You know what I'm saying? And that's, it's amazing, man. And it's inspiring. And I appreciate you guys, man. Also, my third one um, would be Kendall. Um, that's my boy. Big shots out to him. Um... And I'm going to say this to my grave. Uh, his son is my godson. Um, I love him, man, to death. And I may not see him or Kendall every day, but I know when we get on the phone, we chop it up. Um, I also don't see him every day. Um, but when we link up and we talk or whatever, it seems like, you know, we never departed. You know what I'm saying? And those, he, he one of them friends that, you know, let's chill, let's relax. You know, we both got separate lives. We over here, we over there. But, you know, let's come together. You know what I'm saying? And, and what's been going on with life, you know, different stuff like that. So I appreciate that, man. And those three are my closest friends, man. And I appreciate y'all very much. So we're on question 10. Um, what are your YouTube goals? Um, well, my one of my YouTube goals is to hit 4K subscribers by 2025. Yes. Um, and I'm just believing in God with it because I believe in what I don't think. Well, what I don't feel like possible, I believe with God, all things are possible. And when I pray, I ask him to bless me, to allow people to see what I do on YouTube. Um, also, um, um, another one of my goals is to inspire people and to encourage people and light people um, to let them know that you know the, everybody in the world is not all bad you have people that's that's kind hearted that love that um, cares about others you know just because in your life you know you had some some downs more than ups um, don't give up you know what I'm saying? Don't give up. If you had to watch YouTube every day for encouragement or um, enlightenment 
um, then do that. You know what I'm saying? Go to different uh, social media platforms. Like I'm on all social media platforms. I'm on Facebook. Um, you can catch me at Gus Stokes on Facebook. Um, also, you can catch me at um, That's Real Not Podcast on Instagram. Also, I have a, a YouTube channel as far as my podcast that's um, under construction. And it's just, you know, it's just a lot of stuff. Also, um, I'm also on Facebook, uh, Stokes Detailing. If you ever need your car clean, washed to excellence, <laughs> I'll let your boy. Yes, for sure. Um, but um, one of my other goals for my YouTube channel um, is to just become, you know, the best YouTuber that I could become. And also, it helped me become a better person also. Um, so, that's a couple of my of my YouTube goals. Um, but, yeah, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend um, to go to the YouTube channel at my life underscore my journey. You'll see Gus at the end. Also, make sure you hit the bell. Um, so every time that I upload a video, it'll come straight to any device um, and let you know when I drop a new video or I'm online. Definitely. So that's my YouTube goals. Okay, now we're on 11th question. Um, what do you do on your spare time? Um, on my spare time, I wash clothes. I cook on my spare time, I clean up, um, I wash cars, probably already said that, but it's okay, um, I help others, um, I watch YouTube, <laughs> I watch uh, inspirational, motivational speakers, um, what else do I do? Um, oh, I, I research um, my businesses. Um, let me see what else. Uh, I encourage. I enlighten people um, on my spare time. I pray on my spare time. Um, and the list goes on, but that's some of the things that I do on my spare time. All right, question 12. Um, what is your relationship status? My relationship status is single. Single, single, single. And um, I'm not really ready to mingle. I'm just really looking for a friend, somebody who I can get to know, um, get to know them, get to know their surroundings, their atmosphere, um, and just pretty much enjoy life. I got a lot of things going on, um, and it's a lot of things that I want to accomplish. So. I'm also a strong believer in um, I have to do what I have to do for myself first um, to where I could be able to be there for somebody else. Um, so that's been the route that I've been taking for a minute um, and I'm still continuing to take that route because me personally, I haven't got to that place where I need to be at um, in order to be able to be in a relationship because I feel like I love hard. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Scorpio. Um, and Scorpios, they really, really love hard. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, I'm not going to tell my age, but uh, I've been married, you know, a couple of times. 
and um, me personally, I thought it was God, and I had to realize that it wasn't God. It was just my own actions going off of the things that I felt, you know, instead of praying and asking God um, to guide my footsteps. So, you know, to get back on the question, um, I'm single. Um, and I'm down with having friends, you know what I'm saying? Ain't the comments or, you know, let me know something. <laughs> but it's all good, man. I'm just looking for friends. Um, but, yeah, I am single. All right, so now I'm on the 13th question. Um, what is your all-time favorite movie? Um, I would say my all-time favorite movie would be Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, and that would be Nicolas Cage. Um, man, Nicolas Cage is just so awesome. Um, he's an awesome actor. Um, also, the cars that's on there is remarkable. I love cars. Um, for those of you who know um, I have my own detailing business. Um, I have my own valet service. So, you know, therefore that, you know, I do love cars. Um, and wow, I love that movie. That's a movie that I could watch over and over and over again. Um, I love that movie. So yeah, that's, that answers the question. <laughs> All right, for the 14th question, how do you like the city you live in? Um, well, right now I reside in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I love it here. Um, it's big. Um, it's different sides, um, north, south, east, west. Um, and I love all of them, man. And, and one of the reasons I do is because uh, like a year or so or two years ago, um, I was here and I was doing DoorDash and Uber. And like, you know, I made my way around the city seeing different things. And, you know, it's a lot of restaurants, a lot of places to go, a lot of things to see. Um and I love it, you know, I would encourage anybody to come, um, and, you know, as long as you stay in your own lane and, you know, you, you just focus on the things that you need to do, then, you know, a lot of people say it's a bad place to be at, you know, people dying left and right, you know, I just say that's, that's anywhere, um, that's anywhere that you go, but, you know, as long as that you not in nobody business or you staying in your own lane, then, you know, I don't see why not. Um, I love it here, man. It's a blessing. I would recommend anybody to come visit or stay. So, yeah. <laughs> For the 15th question, um, what do you enjoy most about YouTube? Um, one of the things that I enjoy most about YouTube is... Um, the platform is amazing. Um, the reason why I say that is because it's, it's broken down into many things. Whatever you need to know about is on there. Um, if you need help and it's something that you don't know, you could go on there and and look it up and it'll help you and, you know, it'll help you along the way. Also, um, it's places where you could go to listen to inspirational speakers, um, places that you could go to listen to music, um, any kind of mood that you in, gospel, R&B, hip hop, um, different things of that sort. Um, also, you could see, you know, the miracles of people, you know what I'm saying? Or different places. Um, it's so amazing, man. It's like the world put in one place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you've never been to a certain area or a certain place, you could go in the search bar, look it up. Um, 
man it's, it's it's amazing man it's awesome man and if you do music or if you do detailing or if you do whatever that you do um boom you could build you a channel and you could let others know about your channel um it's a great 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 platform um and i love it for sure you guys that's all the questions that we got for today Y'all remember, man, to tell somebody, to tell somebody, to let somebody know about my life, my journey. Um, my life underscore my journey. Hit the bell button. So that way, every time I upload a video, it'll come straight to your devices. Um, so every time I upload a video, you will be able to see it. You will get it. You will like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank y'all for tuning in to the video. Peace. My life be like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. My life be like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. My life be like. My life be like. Wow. Yeah. My life be like.